I had this order for a custom key holder and I thought I'd share with you how I made it. So I designed a bull shark and a pink snapper and then I cut it out on my laser cutter and I cut it into pieces so that I could spray paint the individual pieces and stuck them on masking tape which just stops them blowing away which is a handy technique and um, but yeah that worked really well so here I am just getting I think I just did the bull shark where you can see the colors gray and a blue and then the pink snapper pink and purple I just used some plywood which I stained with a walnut stain and then just this is me just giving it a varnish just to help protect the stain I um, then gave the, once I spray painted the fish, I put them back in their kind of moulds and gave them a varnish. It just helps stop it getting dusty and helps protect it. And this is where I stick it down and put it all together. So um, I fold up little bits of paper, it just means the template sits a little bit higher off and it's just easier to um, stick the, the name down and I find it also stops the actual template sticking to the plywood as well. So yes, I just speed it up me doing the glue bit. And then it just sits inside quite easily. it down and then lift off the template. I find it easier to, uh, so I know it's in the exact right spot and I don't have to measure it or anything, it's quite handy. is the fun bit where I get to put the fish on so I did a similar thing with the template I cut it out so that it would fit the dimensions of the key holder and um, yeah and then I'm just gonna glue each of the individual pieces and put them into place a bit like a jigsaw really and um, it's quite fun seeing it all come together so this is the bull shark I do first it's actually not many pieces I just did you know obviously one piece for the top and then the blue I did underneath and then just the fins and it worked quite well even though some of it was a bit small it seemed to work quite well few more pieces for the pink snapper but that all fits together nicely I ended up doing yeah just the purple worked well as the shadow I think it worked well for the fins A little bit trickier taking it off, the uh, template off, but it all seemed to work quite well. 
Though I didn't realise at the time and actually the fin had come away as well so I've um, ended up just sticking it back on and I also put weights on, uh, well heavy books and weights to just really make sure the fish and the name stuck down well. So the frame was pretty simple to put on, just measured it, made sure it was flush to the edges. And I thought white was good, went with the name. Kind of a nice border, nice contrast with the dark walnut. And just sticking the bit where the actual key holder hooks are going to go. So I just stuck that on the bottom, which is pretty easy. I did put weights on that as well, that area, and just to make sure it, it stuck well. And then easy, just chucking in the key holders, just some little white ones. I just twisted them in. I'd actually pre-done the holes on the laser cutter, which was, I think, a, a good move in the end. It made it much easier. So all I had to do was twist in the hooks. And the hooks were white as well, which I thought went well with the border and the name. And here it is, all finished. It's uh, 40 centimetres by 20. And yes, they were very happy with it. And they said they were blown away by it. So I was very happy with that comment. And here it is on the wall. Thanks for watching.